Hello everyone, Crazy Fish Farmer here. Got uh, some sketches together. Um, some ideas that I have, and I just want to go over them with everybody. As soon as I get them together here. Um, I've been playing around with the idea of using bicycle parts to build this uh, trike that I'm working on. Three-wheeler, whatever you want to call it. And my original idea was to use the back half of a bike and then eventually rig something using the different sprockets and stuff and, and gear ratios and all that good stuff on, on the bike to, to mount some kind of motor in here, uh, some kind of electric motor. And I'll go, uh, uh, this, that'll make a little bit better sense here in a minute. And then mount something like, like this. Um, I was going to take and take the rear pieces of the bike and weld them onto the side of some kind of rectangular something on the back of the bike. Now originally I was I was just talking about doing a sidecar, but the more I thought about it, I want to use the motor to drive some different alternators, generators, whatever we decide to experiment with. Ultimately this is going to be a platform for experiments. So that was kind of my thinking. So I wanted to go a little, little bit larger. So I scratched the idea of just using, you know, just making a sidecar and moved on to making a entire rear end removing the the wheel and doing something in here to be able to set up motors and that kind of stuff this idea kind of went out the window the more I thought about it um, uh, here's another little picture of you know kind of setting up the the vapor system and and whatever else we decide to hook up on it so let's put that aside. Uh, I had built a, a little trailer once before and I did it something like this using bicycle tires. And it was actually a trailer. Um, but I think this will work a lot better than doing it the other way. Uh, the way that I just showed you by welding the, the whole back end of the um, bike onto the side. So I'll set up some frame framework uh, using you know maybe bed frames or whatever I whatever I can find to use and then mounting the the rim the rear rim uh, I have to find another one. Right now I have one. I mean I could use the Tomos's um, tire but it's only like a 16. This one here that I have is a 26 and I think this will work out better. Um, they don't make, I haven't been able to find a, a beefy enough rim. You know, back in my day we had cruisers and stuff and these things always had, uh, you know, pretty beefy rear ends and that's ultimately what I'd like to find. But if I can't find it, the little 26 inch um, cruiser bikes that they have now, the little 15 speed, 10 speed bikes, I think that'll work fine. But I need another one. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. Now how I plan on hooking it up. Uh, on the the Tomos frame, just kind of show you this, and this is kind of the frame without everything on it. It's got a spot right here that that mounts the the motor, and then right here is where the pivot goes back to mount to mount the tire, and then right here is where the shocks you know mount. So. This is a complete frame, along with this piece right here, uh, and then there's a little piece at the bottom that's bolted on to hold the motor, and then ultimately the, the motor is bolted up in there. So it, it's plenty of frame to do what I, I, I'm thinking about doing. Here, let me show you that. That um, frame that I just showed you in the, the first portion of the, the rectangular, well here, let me pull it out. This piece here, uh, ultimately, 
this portion of the frame needs to go up into here and then weld or bolt that right into that area. Now that would put the sprocket, which is right in here on this side, right under that. So anything I do would be up under. And I'll go into more detail on that. I have a lot more other drawings, but this is just the beginning thoughts of it. Um, and then brace it up from the back. You know, that'll give us the strength that we need to, to be able to hold the whole thing. And, and, and the wheel is going to be kind of pivoted right where you would normally sit. So I think that'll um, hold the weight just perfect. I'm going to, like I said, this, this will probably change a hundred times by the time it's done. But that's kind of why I'm doing this video is I want to pick everybody's brains out there and, and get your feedback on this stuff um, to kind of help me in my thought process of which direction we need to go. So, so that's it in a nutshell on that. Um, I got one more here, and that's just for the tires, but uh, but you kind of see where I'm going with that. Now, like I said, ultimately this is going to be a, a platform for experiments. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things I want to do, and a lot of drawings I've already drawn out on some ideas and all this stuff that I'll go over, you know, down the road, but. The beginning process of this is I've got to have my 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 rear end built on this, and that will be the the platform for doing all the experiments. You know, I, I was going to use the the moped for a drive wheel, but the more I thought about it, the experiments that I've been doing and and some of the research I've been doing, we need to use this as a power plant to run some generators, alternators, and then run everything off on, on batteries. I have another drawing here, the old, um, the way I was going to do it originally, but like I said, all that's changed. Uh, you know, be able to put the vapor system on one side, some batteries, some generators, alternators, um, whatever we decide to put on it. You know, a uh, hydrogen, uh, uh, hydroxy system, a booster, some kind of booster for that. Um, you know, I've also had some comments in the past about this moped. You know, it has uh, an oiler on the intake portion of it that dribbles oil in for the cylinders and everything to keep all that lubricated. So, you know, using vapor on this isn't going to hurt it because we'll be able to add that oil right there in the intake, which, which is pretty cool because I'll put some kind of synthetic or something in there to keep all that stuff in good shape. I'm not super familiar with this moped, uh, but I will be because <laughs> ultimately once I get this done and, and welded and, um, you know, tacked together, this motor's got to come off so I can do the final welds and everything so I won't um, hurt that motor any. So I'll probably get really familiar with it at that point. But there you go. There's uh, some ideas. I just wanted to throw them out there, uh, get everybody's input. Uh, that way you can help me uh, come up with some more ideas for this. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different designs out there for sidecars, and um, I've been doing some research on it. There's a lot of different type. I mean, wow, some crazy stuff. And I'm sure this is going to be right up there on the list of the crazy stuff that's created. So, well, that's it for now. Um, please leave your input. Uh, if it comes down to a vote, I'm, I mean, I might set up something on the on the website, let everybody vote on the different ideas on this project. That way we can go one direction or the other. So if I'm kind of torn between two ideas, I'll put um, something up on the website where we can vote on it. I mean, it'd be kind of fun. So, uh, so please give me your input. And... Uh, that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.